What is going on everybody? TBC Breaks back with another video for you and this one is going to be a Com C shipment reveal. Quite a few base cards here, variations, stuff like that that we sent home. Just wanted to show you kind of what we sent home for Spider-Man Metal from uh, Upper Decks E-Pack. Uh, here we got Winter Soldier and the gold. We're going to start off with the golds. Winter Soldier, Ant-Man, uh, Kangaroo, Spider-Woman Silk. We got uh, Scarlet Witch, a Craven Action, Boomerang, Black Widow. This one's really cool. The Sentry, love the artwork on this one. Really nice card. Maria Hill, Miss Marvel. Got the orange of that one, one of 25. We actually just recently sold that. Um, Aunt May. Another kangaroo high series, Daredevil. And we got some of the blues. These blues look amazing. These are the ones that you combine 10 of the low digitals to get the uh, the neon blues. And there's Magneto. That one looks really, really sweet. Great looking artwork on that. Love that one. It's one of those cards that looks good across all the color spectrum. We got Spider Man, Ben Parker's, or uh, yeah, Ben in the uh, Spider Man there, Vision. Cosmic Spider-Man, Anya Corazon, nice looking card, some Grandiose, Alistair Smythe, Mysterio, War Machine, little Rhino action, High Series Mysterio, Prowler, Falcon, Mary Jane, Doppelganger, Doctor Strange, White Tiger, Venom, sweet looking Venom card, high series Venom, first appearance stuff, awesome looking cards, the Shriek, Cosmic Spider and the Grandiose, that's another one of those ones that looks really good across all the colors, Captain America, We've got some Craven, Flash Thompson, and some palladiums here. We got uh, Silver Mane, Iron Man, uh, Scorpion. Sorry, this one's uh, Iron Fist. Ghost Spider. Scream. Not a fan of this one. Uh, even though it's Wolverine, not a fan of the artwork on this one. Uh, Would have liked to see him actually in his uniform. But we did pull Spider-Man as well, so it's pretty sweet. A little off center over here, but that's okay. It's going in the binder, so it doesn't really matter that much on the centering. So uh, the Wolverine one was a little bit off center on the other side. Not terrible. Nothing we're gonna grade there. Kind of this one's not too bad. The scream's pretty decent on the centering. You see the ghost spider here. This one's really close. Off center on the uh, the Iron Fist. It's all good though. Binder cards. They're for, they're for our sets. So, same thing here on this one on the Iron Man. Overall, not too bad though. Nice binder set stuff. We got to get a thicker binder though. I think we got to go up to like a four inch binder on it. I think we have a three and a half now. Uh, we did hit the turquoise Aunt May. That one's out of fifty. Yeah, kind of cool. Not what we wanted, you know, we wanted to get the PMGs, but then we got the, the pink shrink out of 75. We hit the uh, Black Cat PC card for us here. The high series Black Cat and the pink. This one is numbered out of 75 as well. Kind of cool to hit that for ourselves. It was nice to every now and then get one for yourself when you do the box openings. Got a couple comic cuts. This one's really cool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 21. Got Peter Parker proposing. Hanging from the ceiling with the wedding ring there. That one's out of 55. That was our first comic cut that we hit. And then we hit the uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 195. The second appearance of Black Cat. You have Black Cat and Spider-Man on the cut. Numbered out of 40. So that's a cool one. So that'll be a PC one for us with Black Cat on it. So that's awesome. Uh, the Aluminum Spider-Man. Uh, we pulled this one. 
Um, and then we actually have since traded this card for a couple other uh, cards as well. We traded that at the Vegas show. So pretty cool to hit that nonetheless. We got the gold scorpion. It was numbered out of 25, the planet metal golds. That one's got some pretty sick artwork on it. I like that. A little bit thicker, heavier, heavier card made out of metal. Platinum portrait rhino. Let's stick, that to, let's stick that to the back. We'll show these other ones. So we hit the Orange Miss Marvel. This was numbered 5 out of 25. We sold this while we were at the Vegas card show to a member of the Discord group. Uh, we got that sent out in the mail. So that one's on its way to its new owner. Uh, pretty cool card. It was nice. That was the, uh, I think it was the only orange that we've hit. Uh, we did hit the Spider-Man uh, Pink. The Crisis on Campus. Pink Spider-Man there. That's numbered out of 75. We sold that one. Pretty much right away, right after we got our Com C shipment in, this one went away. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome. But we wanted to get the video recorded and get this content out to you guys. So, uh, our only platinum portrait that we hit, Rhino, we have since sold this one as well. So very cool. You can see here; these are cut with all the normal holes in there. You can kind of see through there. Some of them are cut really bad. This one was actually really nice along the bottom edge. It wasn't. You know, it had that bottom row on there, so it wasn't just all the little nubs sticking out from the holes. These are really cool cards. Very, very hard to grade, though. And then our only green PMG, we hit the Vision PMG green, numbered out of 10. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I was happy with this. So this was our first full box on EPAC. We did do um, a couple of the... We did like 12 regular packs and then uh, bought a box as well. And in, in the box, we hit the, the green vision. So numbered out of 10. You know, the normal edging stuff down here in the corner. Uh, and then at the top, a lot of these green PMGs have this little speck right at the top, little flake right in the middle at the top of the car, like right here. It's pretty crazy. I, I don't know why. It's got to be a manufacturing thing. So I don't, I'm sure it would count against if we send it into grade. How much? I'm not sure. You know, my guess is the card would probably get an eight, eight and a half, depending who we send it to. Um, PMGs are tough to grade, so an eight is like getting a nine in a regular card. Um, and sevens are basically what they're considering, like a raw version of the card equivalent. So, but you know, hard to get these green PMGs. There's only 10 of them for each character uh, or for each card. So the entire set has, you know, 200 characters. Each one of those has 10 of these. So it was nice to hit one of these and, and get one in our collection. So. Pretty cool guys that's it stay tuned for part two it'll be coming up here real quick all right guys we are back with round number two round number two of the com c shipments we had two more large shipments come in and they finally arrived so we're going to add these here to the video before we post this so that way you guys kind of get a whole wrap up of everything that we got from com c and we're not going to show you all the cards here we're just gonna kind of go over the basics and let you know what we did get. So we'll start off here. So these ones here, nothing special in this. This was more or less just a, um, a finishing up of our X-Men Metal base set um, as we weren't kind of into Marvel when that set came out. So we did it. We hadn't picked up um, all the cards that we needed. So we picked up uh, the ones that we needed to finish off our base set for X-Men Metal. We grabbed those up with some trades of some Spider-Man Metal. Uh, we did have some more Spider-Man metal that we needed to wrap up for our set as well. So we grabbed those. Of course, you guys already kind of know what these look like. Um, all with the same artwork. I'll show you a few of my favorites that we picked up. So we got the, the Peter Porker. That's one of my favorites in the set. Uh, this guy has a, like a cult following going on. And of course, this card here replaced Spot on the checklist. I guess Spot was like banned or something like that, so they couldn't make Spot cards. But uh, so they made Spider-Man in a Spotlight. So that's kind of cool. We added that to the collection, and of course we got the Venom High Series as well, and then Wolverine High Series is one that we didn't pull in our physical box. So we grabbed him up to finish off um, our uh, overall uh, base set for Spider-Man Metal. Now some of these I don't remember if we actually pulled them or if we picked them up in trades, but kind of the same concept we grabbed the cards off of the e-pack so these are our grandiose 
And I'm gonna show you kind of my favorite ones from the Grandiose that we got, both through trades and pickups. These are like the base ones that we needed for our set. And we still need a bunch of Grandiose for our set. These are not easy to come by, but prices are coming down quite a bit on Com C, so it makes it a little easier to pick up some of those lower tier characters. Now, some of our favorite Grandiose, and some of these we have duplicates of, and the, the reason is someone like Black Cat here. This is one of our PCs. So we got one for the binder and we picked up some extra ones to have to potentially send in to grade. And we got some decent looking cards that we think we can get some pretty good grades on. Like this one has a little bit of a white down here and there and a little bit there. So CGC, you might be able to pull off a 9.5 on that one. Um, and this one here is really, really clean. There's a little tiny bit of white right down here on the bottom. Um, I don't think there's, yeah, there might be a little white right up at the top yeah there's a little tiny flake right there so i think that other card's going to be more of like a, the first one they're probably going to be like a nine nine five on that to have that slabbed up but we picked up several of the high series as well for the same purpose now we already have this card so we didn't need these but we picked them up for the purpose of potentially creating so um of course we'll have to go through those a little more thoroughly but we'll probably send those off to cgc and have those graded on their 15 dollar tier level for the members. Uh, Wolverine, low series, grandiose, very cool card. This card here looks pretty sweet across the border with all the different color gamuts that you can get. And then of course we got the high series and that just looks really good with the yellow. Now I'm not a big fan, they could have cropped him out a little bit farther. I get it, it's a Spider-Man set so they didn't want to be like all clawed up Wolverine throughout the whole set. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Those are my favorite grandiose that we picked up off the of pack. We do have a few more cards to ship home that we wrapped up here right at the end, but you know we'll get to those when we get to those. Not a big deal. Uh, we got a lot of Palladiums that we picked up off the of pack, both pulled. So we got the Carnage. That's a pretty sweet one. Uh, let's see here. Who else we got there? That was pretty sweet. That was about it. Other than these two, we picked up two of the Black Cat Palladiums. Now these are a little bit off center, especially this first one's pretty off center. Like this shouldn't go all the way down. There should be space in between there. So this one's pretty off center to the left. And this one's a little bit off center to the right. And you can tell that because these are getting pretty close to having that connect right through there. So probably gonna grade this first one. Maybe, it just depends. It's, you know, it's, it's off center, but it's also got some of this peeling flake on the back of it, whereas this one doesn't. So tough to say, we may end up looking for a few more black cat palladiums um, that have better coverage, better centering, uh, less surface issues going on with them. The palladiums are very hard to grade. Um, it's hard to find one in really good condition. And then of course we picked up a bunch of golds too. So of course we got all of our, you know, our high and low series golds that we needed for our set. Again, another part of our base set that we're looking to complete is the golds and uh, we still have a ton of those that we need. So we're trying to complete the entire base set, which we have done that. The uh, golds, the blaster yellows, the EPAC blues, and the grandiose and the palladiums. That's what we're trying to complete for our sets. As far as like the parallels, the numbers, other than that, that's all we really care about. So here are some of my favorite golds. This is another one of those cards that looks great with all the different colors and parallels. And that is Cosmic Spider-Man. And then check out that Ghost Spider. That looks sweet, it's another one, same thing. We picked up a couple Black Cats, same purpose, grading. So we got several lows, we got three low series there, we got a couple high series. We have the Wolverine Gold in the low series, and then we got two of the high series. So we have one, we'll probably figure out which one's the better one, grade that, and then go forward with um, go forward with um, bindering up the other one. So we had a couple of nice Wolverine cards there that we'll put up. Now, you know what, I actually like this one better. I'll set that one right there. I actually like that one a little bit better. All right, so this next big stack, this is a lot. I'm gonna show you guys these. Just real quick, I'm gonna show you this one and then we're gonna show you the highlight ones. So these are the neon blues that you get and these look amazing in hand. They do not look that great on EPAC. Um, the scanner just does not look good with a lot of the imaging. But some of my favorites from the blue, and we do have 
the entire low series cards 1 through 100 and we have about 60 of the high series we'll probably just end up buying the rest of the ones um, as these start to hit the market these will come down quite a bit on comp and ebay as well so spider punk that one looks really cool because it basically looks like a pmg right even though it's not a pmg just that neon blue just looks amazing the uh, nova looks really sweet the only thing i don't like about a lot of the parallels is you can't really read the name unless you get the light right on it or get it angled just right like you can't it doesn't just pop out you know, I wish that just stayed like a, a constant silver or a white color to make the name stand out. Iron Spider. Uh, I don't have Iron Man here, but that's another one that looks really good in this. The Sentry looks amazing in this. And of course, we have the uh, Spider-Man 2099. Low Series Peter Porker. Moon Knight. This Moon Knight looks really good across the, the gamut of um, color variations as well. Silk. My girl Black Cat here. We got high and low black hat, or low and high, I guess would be how you put that. Really nice cards, glad to have those in the PC. And then of course we got Wolverine in the neon blue as well. And then a couple cool ones here, Venom in the neon blue. This is a very hard one to get. Nobody wants to trade away Venom and Spider-Man, so we're happy we got him. Took a little bit to get him. We got Wolverine early on, as well as the black hats just because we knew they were gonna to be tougher and they were PC ones for us, so we wanted to get them early on. We kind of saved Venom and Spider-Man till the end. And we probably should have jumped on those a little sooner uh, as far as trading goes. Uh, Ghost Spider, this one looks really awesome. I just love the way that card looks. And this looks great in like, if you have the pink parallel to number 75 as well. Now these aren't numbered, they're just the color parallels. But this one looks really sweet. I think that one's probably my favorite blue of all the blues that are out there. All right, next, let's do this stack here. This is a couple little hits. We did get, we picked up the Daily Bugle Black Cat for our PC collection. Of course, everybody knows those are kind of like a booklet. Pain in the butt, I wish they would have made this more like the booklet sketch cards where it actually had like a binder on it. Um, so just so that way it was gonna be something that you could potentially grade and get a decent grade out of. With this being creased down the middle and essentially folded, it's going to be very tough to get any sort of good grade on these, unless the grading companies take that into account. You know, if they take that into account, they don't ding you for surface because that's how the card is manufactured. That would be amazing. And then you're kind of just looking at the, you know, the corners and then the edges again. And of course, then you're back to the surface issues. And if they take that that strip in the middle out of the equation, unless it's just really damaged, you know what I mean? That'd be nice. But again, you get the article here in the middle you can read, but you can't really read much of any of this. It all kind of bleeds together. Um, now there probably is actual text there just because of how small it is though and the ink they use. It all just kind of blends together so you don't really get the, the benefit of being able to read that. Um, but nonetheless, cool to have the black cat. Now we also picked this up. So this was kind of a combo deal and a little story behind this one. Uh, we actually had a trade with Spidey Hits where we were going to be getting a Black Cat um, Skyscraper for a Null Skyscraper. He needed the Null and we were looking to pick up the Black Cat. So what we did is we worked out that trade and I sent him out the uh, the Null. And then uh, a few days later, it was, it was a while later, um, he, had, he had actually been really, really busy and he forgot to send out the Black Cat. But it worked out nice because I had pulled the Black Cat and so I reached out to him and I said, hey, you have the Jubilee from X-Men Metal in the pink. Would you be willing to substitute that for the black cat? And he was. My daughter's favorite is Jubilee. So we grabbed up Jubilee and I believe this one is 18 out of 75 in the pink. So essentially we traded the Null Skyscraper for the Jubilee pink. So we're going to give that to my daughter. She's going to be super excited about that. I'm going to put that one up here kind of as a another one that we like just because of the sentimental value that's going to be to that for me um, giving that to her that's not her favorite image she likes the other jubilee card um, the older jubilee art not so much the new jubilee art but she already knows this is coming she's super excited about it just to have it she she's appreciative of that so um, and then we got some numbered stuff um, and some nice parallels here so we're going to go over these real quick and these are as you if you remember Part one, we had the green um, vision, the high series vision. 
uh, out of 10. We pulled that in our uh, first EPAC box. And we probably should have stopped that because we didn't hit any greens after that. And our reds were just okay. Uh, we had to send one back in just because it was really bad flaking. But we hit the, um, the Luke Cage pink, 17 out of 75. So we hit Luke Cage pink, not a big card, doesn't have a lot of value. We picked up Domino in a trade, a uh, PC card for us from the Unbound set, 543 out of 999. Of course, this, uh, we'll show you that one here in a second, because that kind of goes with uh, the achievement stuff. Uh, Silk and Black Cat, this was part of a trade, Marvel Masterpieces, this is the, um, the, et the Battle Spectre Etch. So it was nice to pick the Silk and the Black Cat up for the PC as well. And of course, the Domino Arc Weld came in a uh, trade as well. And we're actually getting a uh, high series Domino Pink that was part of that same trade. So we got uh, a bunch of cards there for uh, one individual card um, that was PC for another gentleman. Um, Planet Metal Hobgoblin, 17 out of 99 copper. This was our first copper pull. Everything we pulled Planet Metal prior to that was either aluminum or gold. So we got the Hobgoblin in the copper really nice looking card pretty clean there's a little tiny issue going on with the paint right up there but these metal cards are really super hard there's a little ding right over here um, they're really super hard to, to grade and to have and keep in good condition one of the better ones we pulled here was the scarlet witch and this was the pink as well and we almost got the omega 74 out of 75 we almost got the card number in sports that would have been considered you know, you'd almost consider that like jersey number is how I would consider that. Like if we would add 72 out of 75, I would have considered that like jersey number. So, because they don't, you know, the characters don't have jersey numbers. So you kind of go by the card number that they have. So kind of cool to get that one right there. And we did pull a couple red PMGs uh, off the E-Pack. We got the High Series Hulk. That one's really, really nice. And I haven't taken this out yet, so I haven't really kind of inspected the surface, but just from looking at it, there's a little bit of a white down here in this corner, a little tiny bit in this corner. Um, but other than that, the front looks pretty good. There might be a little dimple right there in the name banner. And then on the back, of course, you got the normal little tiny whitenings around the edges that you get um, with these dark cards like that. But High Series Hulk, Red PMG, really cool. Um, we got uh, Flash Thompson. Red PMG. This one does look like it's probably got like a speck here, unless that's just a flake that's on the card from putting it in, you know, dust flake or something like that. Flash Thompson, Red PMG, nothing big there. 72 out of 100. Uh, the Hulk was uh, 90 out of 100. So kind of cool there. Um, this Century one looks really sweet. Again, this is really good artwork. I love the way this one looks in the red. This one I might not ever move. I might keep this, I'm not a century collector, but I might just keep this one just to keep it. Now a lot of people thought like these spots on EPAC were actually defects in the card, but it's just the artwork itself. And you can see that when you kind of put some light on it, you get the, the raised effect going on. Um, and this one was number 90 out of 102. So it was kind of crazy because the Hulk, both the Hulk and the century were both numbered 90 out of 100. So not too shabby there. But yeah, the Century was probably my favorite. Um, we hit pretty nice card here. This came out of some random packs. We hit the Ghost Spider. Uh, this is the Amazing Rave. This one's numbered to 62, 29 out of 62. Very nice card. Um, it's it's The prices are kind of all over the place. Like one day it sells for 900, then it sells for 520, then it sells for 300, and then it sells for you know another high amount. I think now that E-Pack is sold out, You'll start seeing some of these nicer cards, these rarer cards, these higher character cards. The prices will start to come back up and it'll start to stabilize as people keep them and hold them and then there's less on the market. So we'll start to see some of these come up. And I think these Z cards long term will have pretty good return on them if you're able to hold them long term. And this one, you know, we sent this one home instead of trading it because the potential to grade it, uh, I mean, it does have like some of the normal edge stuff going on but you know I think it's still like a, a nine a nine card and these are gonna be tough to grade anyway and not everybody's gonna grade them um, so this one here this is one of my personal favorite cards and just because of how long it took for me to get this so this is the neon green 
So the neon green and I got the blue right over here. So I'm gonna grab the blue so you can kind of see the blue and the neon green side by side. So there's the blue, the neon blue. That takes 10 of the digital base cards to accomplish. And then the neon green takes 100 of the digital base cards to accomplish. So essentially 110 digital base cards to accomplish this right here. And Black Cat's a popular character, so it's not easy to get people to trade them. And of course you're not gonna, unless you just opened hundreds and hundreds of boxes, you're not gonna get enough characters of the same character yourself to be able to accomplish that. Now there are people that have put together the entire blue set many times over. There's people that have, you know, the entire neon green set of all the characters, and that's fantastic. We just wanted the neon green of Black Cat. I didn't care about the neon green for Wolverine, just because it was gonna be so hard to accomplish that, that I wanted to go after something that I felt that I could accomplish and have that in my PC. And then later on, I can probably just purchase uh, the other ones that I want. But I wanted to be able to accomplish one myself. So there you go, guys. That's the wrap up of our Com C shipments. Now we have some other ones to ship home, but they're all like um, more blues, more base cards, parallels, grandiose, stuff like that. Uh, there's a couple comic cuts in there, and we have a really cool sketch card uh, that's in that too um, of Spider-Man 2099. It looks really badass. Um, but uh, nonetheless, there's our our shipment from Com C. Our three shipments from Com C. Now we're going to be headed off to the Vegas show. We'll be bringing some of these with us. Um, uh, so if you're at the Vegas show, stop by our booth and check us out. Uh, I think we're going to be in the E block of tables. Um, so give us a thumbs up, guys. If you like the content, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll catch everybody on the next video. Bye.